So as of the date of this recording, Microsoft support for Windows 10 ends tomorrow. And a ton of you have written me in my comments saying, I want to enroll, but I'm not getting that option. But the good news is for you, there's a way to force it to pop up and allow you to enroll. That's what we're gonna do today. So real quickly, before we get started, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for almost 35 years. And what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, make sure you hit subscribe and check out my channel content because I guarantee you, you'll find something that'll interest you. In addition to that, one of the things that I love doing for my viewers is finding PC recommendations for them when they don't know what they don't know. So if you're in the market for a new machine, click the link in the description, fill out that quick form. I will personally hunt down and find you the absolute best deal for your budget. Now, with that being said, let's get the sucker enrolled. Now to get Windows to pop up the enrollment option is actually pretty simple, but in order to continue, there's three things you absolutely have to have. You have to have at least Windows 10 version 22 H2. And to check that, all you have to do is go into your Windows settings. You're gonna click on system, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to the about section click on about in this page that comes up scroll down again and you will be able to see right about the middle of the page what version you have as you can see here this is windows 10 home edition version 22h2 so we're good to go on that part the second thing you're going to need is to be able to make sure that your windows updates are current this will not work if you do not have current windows updates so to check that all you have to do is go back to your settings go to Windows Update and Security at the bottom, and then click on Check for Updates, and go ahead and download and install any updates that you see here, and once you have done that, now you have everything you need in order to get this enrollment box to pop up for you. Now the third thing you're gonna need is something that I'm just asking you, and that's to trust me. What I'm gonna do is walk you through the process. It can be a little daunting, but that's okay. If you follow my instructions to the letter, you cannot screw this up. So I'm gonna show you how to trick the Windows registry into thinking that you need to be prompted to enroll. So if you just follow along with my steps, do exactly what I say, type exactly what I show you, you will have the same results. So let's get to it. What we're gonna be doing here today is editing the Windows registry. So what is the Windows registry? Well, think of the Windows registry as a table of contents for your computer. Basically, any program that you have on your computer, when you click on it, it goes into the Windows registry and it says, okay, what am I supposed to do when somebody opens this program? And then it says, go to this folder, open this file, do these parameters, all that stuff. It is basically an instruction manual for Windows. And sometimes those instruction manuals don't have all the instructions. And that's all we're doing today is adding a set of instructions into the owner's manual. So when you go to the Windows Update page, Windows looks to the registry and says, what do I do? And now we're gonna tell it, show the enrollment option. That is it in a nutshell. So here's where the rubber meets the road. What you have to do is either in your search box right here, type REG, and usually it will pop up right here with registry editor. If you don't have a search box, you can hit the Windows key in the letter R and type in reg edit and then click OK. Both of them take you to the same place. Go ahead and accept the user account control and say yes. And now we are in our Windows registry. Again, this is where all the things happen behind the scenes. Now this is super simple and I will let you know at what point we're going to make a change but right now all we're doing is opening and viewing it so this right here is a list of what are known as hives and you don't really need to understand what those are other than just know that each of these controls different functions in windows and as a general rule you never want to mess with the registry because you can really cause bad things to happen uh, normally i would recommend you back up your registry by going to file and export and just give it a name like backup make sure the all button is checked and click save again this is optional you don't have to do it because what we're doing isn't affecting any windows uh, core functionality so even if you type this stuff wrong it shouldn't cause any problems but it's always a good idea to have a backup so once the registry has been backed up now all we have to do is drill down to the location in windows that has the parts that we need to make a change to. So what you're gonna do right here, you see H key current user, double click on that. 
and then scroll down until you see software and double left click on that. Then you will see Microsoft, double left click on that. Now you're going to get a much larger list that pops up here. Just scroll all the way down until you see Windows NT, double click on that. And underneath that, you will see current version, double left click that. And we're almost done. Go down to the Windows section and double left click that. Okay. Now, what we should see here, if the enrollment option is available, is something called Consumer ESU. And as you can see here, it is not listed. So what we have to do is we have to create that entry so that Windows will see that in the registry and then force the enrollment. Long story short, right click on the word Windows, go to New Key, and then you're going to see here where you can type in um, some letters, whatever you want, but you have to type this in exactly as I show you here. You're going to type consumer ESU, no spaces, and the C is capitalized and the ESU is capitalized. Once you have done that, just go ahead and hit enter, and now you will see you have a consumer ESU key inside this Windows key. And you're going to want to make sure that the consumer ESU is highlighted as opposed to here. You want to click this, and this should all be blank over here, just default, right? You have to right click in this empty area, go to new D word 32 bit value and left click that and again. You'll see here where you have the ability to type. We're going to type the word ESU all caps, then capital E ESU eligibility and make sure you spell this correctly because this will not work if you do not spell eligibility correctly. E L I G I B I L I T Y. And I'll make sure I put this in the uh, description for you. Couldn't you if you just like me and have trouble spelling sometimes, you can just copy and paste it. But um, once you've done that, just hit the enter key and you will see it will turn blue. And now you have a new D word value. You don't need to know what that is, just know that Windows knows what it is. And we got to do one more thing. We have to right click somewhere in this area and create another one. So you're going to go to new D word 32 bit value. And then we're going to type in ESU eligibility result. And again, Make sure you spell it exactly as I'm showing you here, capital E, capital S, capital U, capital E, eligibility, capital R. No spaces or dashes or anything like that. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and hit the enter key, and now you will see that you have two D word values. The only other thing we have to do is we have to change this value right over here, which basically is, you know, when everything in Windows is ones and zeros, we have to tell it what that eligibility status is. So just go to this first one here and simply double click it. And right here under value data, you're going to type the number two and then click OK. And you'll see here that it is now showing as a two instead of a zero. Now go to the eligibility result D word value that we created the second one here double left click that and then change this value to a one and then hit enter okay so I'm gonna leave this on the screen for a second and make sure that you have it exactly the same here you've got a consumer ESU key here with no spaces and all caps correct and the capitalization is correct and then we have two D word values ESU eligibility value is two ESU eligibility results and the value is one and guess what that's it click the X at the top right corner to close that window and you shouldn't have to restart but might not be a bad idea to do that anyway but now you can go back into Windows settings and go to Windows update and see you should have that enrollment option there let's check it so as you can see it worked perfectly for us using this uh, ESU key in the registry and now that we've got the enrollment box to pop up, now you have the option to continue Windows 10 updates for another year. But I made an entirely different video on how to do this because there are a few nuances in the enrollment process that you need to know about. The good news is for you, I made that video and it's right here. Thank you so much for watching. If I was able to get that enrollment box popped up for you, click that subscribe button and help us get to 300,000 subscribers. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.